A year ago, a world-renowned chef, Alan Turner, was injured while recording a section of his popular Alan's Classic Country Kitchen series. He was forging for fresh, natural ingredients in the grounds of his country estate in Wiltshire. Alan suffered a serious fall and was medically induced coma for a week. This is the story of his return to the kitchen. It doesn't really matter what we think. But he's not ready for this. Look, this isn't up to us now, so can we just quietly get this done, please? You have to be filming just now. I don't see how this is relevant to our story. It's all relevant in finding out the process. If you want, I can switch it off just now. Yes, please do. Firstly, I'd like to thank you for allowing us to come in and uh, observe your professional methods. It's no bother at all. You know, to give the people the opportunity to see how your show is made and it's a generous choice which has inspired you to rise as a rising star and to share with us the secrets of your culinary genius. Well, as you know, the show's been running for a while now and it just seemed to me like a good opportunity to lift the curtain, so to speak. And how does it feel being back in the kitchen since your accident? That's not what I'm here to discuss, and I'm pretty sure you were made aware of that before your arrival. Sorry, Alan. Please, Marcus, I don't recall us being on first name basis. Try and retain some professionalism. Marcus. Again, I sincerely apologise, Mr. Turner. Do I have a name tag? No, I don't. Therefore, I would prefer you to call me Chef. Enough for now, Marcus. Marcus, can you please get these people out of my way? Please, come on! Hello there, and welcome to Cleansing Discerning Palettes. As uh, every week, we'll cook dishes that students can afford on a low budget. As you can see behind me, I'm in a student's kitchen in 3F. They've given me a whole bunch of ingredients, and this is where I shall make a meal from what they've given me. What I'm going to start with today is a beautifully tasty called Seared Scallop Appetizers. Using only the freshest possible ingredients, grown locally and affordably. Now, we have to have the bacon. The bacon, as you can see, nice clean cut. Which we're gonna pair with some beautiful aromatic vegetables. Right here, folks. What just happened there? It seems like he can't distinguish or recognize ingredients, Marcus. It sounds like he has culinary amnesia. Yes, you can. Even I can tell the difference between scalp and chicken. Why would he make that? Why, did, why didn't you just say anything? Look, Marcus, our, job, <clears throat> our jobs depend on it. And I will ask that you just... What are you doing? We're sorry, Chef. We were just discussing something. I don't care what you're discussing. Because you have plenty of time to discuss it because you're fucking fired. You can't fire her. She did nothing wrong with you. How you dare you? I let you into this studio to act professionally under my work. And what are you doing? You're betraying me. You're what? Fuck you and fuck the documentary. I'm fucking fired. You can't fire everyone, Alan. You what? you, Marcus! I've had enough of you! Every day, you're under my work and you're getting underneath my feet! You gave me the wrong ingredients like, what was it? Bananas, bacon, and f***ing Gavin steak! What the f***? you, Marcus!
Kevin has so f***ing under Kurt Testo f***ing clocking! <laughs>